Hello, welcome to another pick and roll video. I'm Steve. This video is basically for anybody who's just starting out selling online, whether it be eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, wherever, and you want to up your photograph game. Taking good pictures of your products when you list them is key. Bad pictures are not going to give you good sales. If you take good quality pictures with a nice white background, some good lighting, it's going to definitely up your chances of selling your item compared to the same item that is listed. So if you don't have a dedicated space where you can have a basically like a permanent setup photo booth, photo table with a wall background, you know, that's white, um, then this is for you. So let me show you what you can do. Very inexpensive, portable, and will allow you to take good pictures. What I use is four, these are white foam boards. There are four of them. They're 30 inches by 20 inches. They sell them at the Dollar Tree. So for $4, you can have your white background and base. All you do is you take them, if, you know, figure out which side is the better of the boards and place them face down on the floor. And then you tape your seams. Okay, now you want this to be able to fold in half to form a 90 degree, you know, shape. So the long seam down the middle do not make so tight because then it will not fold properly. Okay, so that's it. Tape your four boards together. Now when you flip it over, you can form it to 90 degree and it gives you a perfect base and background for photographing smalls, shoes, hard, you know, any hard goods. Because now you're talking about 40 inches wide and it's 60 long. So 40 by 30 bottom, 40 by 30 background. Now let me show you for instance, like I have a stack of VHS tapes that I picked up today. This is how they would look on the background. Yes, you're going to seam the seams. Um, and that's okay. But see how nice that looks with the white background. So it's perfect for anything. You can pull back. You could get in close. If you wanted to lay them down, you could lay them down and you could look downwards. And here's just a few pictures of products that I've taken in the past day or two. They just look so much better with the white background. Now what's nice about the board doing it that way is if you're doing clothing, which I do a lot of, just leave it flat on the floor. You can lay your, if you want to do it that way, or if you have a big tabletop, but I just, it's easier for me on the floor since it's portable. Just leave it opened up flat, and it's pretty much big enough for any article of clothing. You light up the board, and you can just photograph downwards onto it. It's very versatile. Now, there's many options you can do for lighting. I have this ring light. I think it's just an 8-inch one. It's not a big one. They make them much larger, like 12 or 13 inches. But since I work in a smaller space, I don't need the brighter light. This is perfect. It came with a tripod. has adjustable height. It also came, let me get closer, it came with a camera attachment so you can put your, well, you're basically supposed to photograph from the back side of the light. So one way to do it with this is, that's why it's a ring light because you can photograph from right from the back center of it. So you would just light your item and then you bring your camera right through the hole and take your photograph. Now the only other thing you would really need is a camera. You can go with a point and shoot, you know, you can go with an expensive camera, but it's really not needed. Nowadays, everybody has a cell phone and the way they make phones now, they have very good cameras. I just use my iPhone for all my pictures. Nothing wrong with that. They come out good quality. So that's it. This is just a little quick little video to help anybody who's starting out and wants to get better pictures taken because it will help sell your products. So thanks guys, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button, that's okay. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, put them down below. And I'll see you later. Bye.